all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Six months into 2022, and it's already looking like the best year yet. With championship fights, undisputed matchups, and rivalry tilts. Let's recap the most exciting events of the past six months. Starting in the UK with a rivalry that was simmering for 10 years, finally became a reality. Kell Brook taking on Amir Khan. These two geezers fought to a glorious finish, each fighter leaving it all on the table to see who the better combatant was. And in the sixth, Brook had a flurry of punches that forced the ref to step in and call it off. Both fighters can probably be found now in their retirement homes fighting over who gets the remote for the telly. Remaining in the kingdom, Josh Taylor defended his undisputed super lightweight crown against Jack Catterall. A pound for pound star versus a mandatory challenger provided unexpected results. A split decision successful defense that nearly cracked the British Empire in half. Now Taylor's career is at a crossroads where one path has him moving up to take on Terence Crawford and the other has him defending his three belts. Thank you very much to WBA against Jose Zepeda. One man that made his return in the new calendar year is Gennady Golovkin, who was probably on vacation in 2021, but he got back to work this year. First, he fought WBA Super World Middleweight Champion Ryota Murata. Triple G knocked him out because, you know, it's easier to take a belt away from a guy who's unconscious. Golovkin showcased he still has it even at the ripe age of 40. Canelo tried his hand at light heavyweight again, but lost to Demetri Bivol and maybe even his silk pajamas in the process. But luckily, fans can now witness the most anticipated trilogy in the past 20 years with him and Triple G. Yeah, I said it. Adding to this already packed list of amazing events, enthusiasts of the Sweet Science got to see a welterweight unification fight between the already two belt unified champion Errol Spence Jr. besting WBA Super World title holder, your Dennis Ugas who was coming off a win against the now retired and future Hall of Famer, Manny Pacquiao. Hardcore boxing fans know his next fight is probably going to be against the tough, undefeated contender, 5-0, Jake Paul. Just kidding, hopefully it's Bud Crawford. Bring it in the heavyweights. Tyson Fury went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Dillian White for the WBC title and had absolutely nobody surprised by the result, except for White. After the fight, the King teased retirement, but even the biggest conspiracy theorists know it's probably not true. In New York, the biggest fight in female boxing history went down. Katie Taylor defended her undisputed lightweight titles against seven division champion Amanda Serrano in a fight of the year candidate. It was the first female fight to headline at the famed Madison Square Garden, and thanks to a sold out crowd, it was so loud in MSG that the ref couldn't even hear the final bell ring. Both fighters gave it their all in a match that will go down in history as one of the most impactful fights in boxing and a potential rematch rumored to take place in Ireland later this year. For people who have been trying to major in the sweet science, Jermel Charlo beat Brian Castaño to become the undisputed super welterweight champion in their rematch and the WBO has already ordered Charlo to take on narco artist Tim Zhu. Speaking about Australian fighters, George Cambosis Jr followed up his massive upset of Tifuma Lopez by taking on Devin Haney for the undisputed lightweight championship. Unfortunately, his dream turned into a nightmare, losing to Haney by unanimous decision. But now 135 pounds can actually start to be mentioned in the same breath as the Four Kings. Still dealing with a global pandemic, 2021 exceeded expectations even for a normal year in boxing. But halfway through 2022, you can already make the case it's been better than ever.